After an incredibly boring MLB All-Star game on Tuesday, the second half of the MLB season gets underway on Friday, and the push to the postseason starts here. Are you with me? What's up, sports fans? My name is Chris, and you are now rocking with the 5 Tool Podcast. We are a daily baseball betting show that touches on just about everything you want to know about Major League Baseball from a betting perspective. Today's Wednesday, July 14th, and the MLB returns for the second half of the season after the All-Star break, and we have a stacked card to choose from, but we have four selections, as usual, to make us some money here tonight. Now, before we get into the plays, if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so now. And if you guys haven't already smashed the like button, please go ahead and do so now as well. If we can break 50 likes on the video, that'd be fantastic. Now, before we get into the plays, again, if you guys are new around here watching for the first time, we run this show a little bit differently than most MLB vetting shows. Each episode, we offer four selections, a side, a total, a first-inning prop bet, and a wild-card selection that can be anything that's widely available to be wagered on, such as home run props, pitcher strikeout props, team totals, anything of that nature. All the bets are tracked. They're linked in a Google Doc sheet that's linked in the description. Give it a click if you want to follow along with the day-to-day record. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's four selections. The first play we're rolling with is the side selection. We're taking the Los Angeles Dodgers on the money line, minus 125 for the New York Mets. Look, Buck Walter's seat on the uh, Mets bench is getting hotter and hotter with every passing loss. And this series against the Dodgers could be the uh, straw that breaks the camel's back. If the Dodgers can pull off a sweep against the Mets, I think Buck Walter gets the hook uh, You know, after this series is all said and done. The Mets are drifting further and further away from playoff contention. They came off a series loss against the San Diego Padres uh, in their last series prior to the All-Star break. They scored just three total runs uh, in the last two games combined. And now against Julio Urias, uh, who's been up and down so far this season, but he is coming off a gem of a performance against the Pittsburgh Pirates. We allowed uh, just two earned runs in six innings, uh, striking out eight batters. He hasn't given up uh, more than two runs in six of his last eight contests. So I believe he has the upper hand uh, in terms of the pitching matchup in this one. Going up against Justin Verlander, who's been up and down inconsistent at best this season by his lofty standards, I might add. Uh, he's got command issues this year. He hasn't not striking out as many batters as he used to. And the Mets uh, simply aren't putting up enough runs to help him get out of jams. The Dodgers are hot right now. They've scored at least five runs in six straight contests. And we're going to take them on the road here to get off the um, MLB All-Star break uh, on a winning note. So give me the harder team. Give me the Dodgers on the money line, minus 125. The second play we have for you is our totals play. We're taking the over 10.5 runs in the New York-Colorado contest. The odds are minus 115. Look, Carlos Rodon gets the ball for the Yankees again. He's making his second start since returning from injury. Uh, that kept him out basically the entirety of the uh, first half of the season. He made one start uh, last time out against the Cubbies. They lost uh, 3-0. He did pitch well in that game, uh, however, but the team did not give him any run support to work with. In this game at Coors Field against the pitcher in Austin Gomber, I fully expect the Yankees to take advantage of the you know the hitting uh, confines of Coors Field and a terrible pitcher in Austin Gomber who's got a 6.40 ERA on the season and get to him early and often and provide uh, Carlos Schroeder on the run support he needs to get in the win column in this contest. I'm expecting runs uh, a plenty here from uh, the Yankees and I do believe the Rockies have what it takes to at least pitch in with you know four uh, four or five runs of their own. I believe this is going to be a high-scoring contest, and I'm going to take the over 10.5 runs at odds of minus 115. The third play we have for you is our first inning prop bet, and for it, we're going back to Coors Field. We're taking the over 1.5 runs in the first inning in the Colorado-New York contest. The odds are plus 120. Look, this game is going to be high-scoring. Coors Field provides plenty of runs, and both teams are going to get off to a hot start coming out of the All-Star break. I don't want to lay minus 160 with a, uh, a first inning run. Instead, I'm going to pivot to a one and a half uh, total here. I do believe both teams have the opportunity to get on the board uh, in the first inning. If the Yankees don't you know, take care of the job uh, in the top half of the first against a terrible pitcher in Austin Gomber. Instead of laying the minus 160, we'll go uh, pivot to the plus uh, money price. We'll take over one and a half runs here at odds of plus 120. And the final play we are rolling with is our wild card prop. We're taking the Chicago White Sox team total over three and a half runs at odds of minus 115. Look, this is a stinky play, but sometimes you got to plug your nose, look away, and hope the ticket cashes at the end of the game. But I fully believe this ticket has every opportunity to cash, similar to our, you know, our best side bets, our best total bets. I absolutely love this play here today against Charlie Morton, who's going to have a classic letdown spot after pitching a dazzling gem of a performance against the Tampa Bay Rays uh, in his last start prior to the All-Star break. Morton, he's been solid uh, so far this season, but he does have a ton of walk um, walks on the season. And Chicago White Sox have enough uh, pop in the bat uh, in a humid uh, park like uh, Atlanta, Truist Park. And we'd expect them to come out uh, swinging a hot bat in this one. 
The Braves, they might be asleep at the wheel here. They had eight players go to the All-Star game on uh, Tuesday. So getting back into the thick of things might take them a little bit of uh, time. I do believe this is going to be a higher scoring game. I do believe the White Sox are going to be full marks for their four runs here. And we're going to catch the ticket with them uh, over three and a half team total runs at odds of minus 115. That wraps up episode 52 of the 5 Tool Podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the videos, please smash the like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. we got great things cooking up in the summer months. And share these with your friends on social media so we can all make some money together. The next episode of the 5 Tool Podcast will be out on Sunday night. Until next time, 